theirs was just one of these stories that you just, you cannot make up. This is a phrase that is commonly expressed at Garnsey's Feral Acres located right here in the North Country. This 158-acre animal sanctuary is home to creatures of all shapes, sizes, and backgrounds. Garnsey's Feral Acres was started two years ago by North Country natives Jeff and Julie Garnsey when they took in their first animals. The, the Amish refer to me as the fisherman that thinks he's a farmer um, because this is definitely not something that I um, grew into. Uh, it just kind of happened, and the first thing you know, you, you have three or four, and then you have 10 or 20, and then you hit 50, and uh, then it becomes kind of serious. Their inspiration to start the organization and take on these animals was based on a gap Garnsey noticed in the North Country. There was such a huge need in this area for um, a rescue for large animals, um, and specifically animals that didn't necessarily have rights. What really started that was rescuing that first animal. Now Zeus here may be the original member of Garnsey's Feral Acres, but there are over 50 other animals here across the property. Background stories of animals on the farm include pigs that were in abusive homes, donkeys on their way to be sold on the black market, a newborn calf injured by coyotes on an island on the St. Lawrence River, dogs rescued from across the world, and a colony of feral cats. As Garnsey's Feral Acres continues to grow with new members, the need for physical expansions has become a priority. Garnsey is about to start his first capital campaign, hoping to raise $150,000 to build a new barn to house all animals in the winter. Probably singularly the most important thing that's going to go into that barn is a treatment room uh, so that when we have an issue with an animal or we bring on an animal that has a pre-existing issue, um, there's a place where they can get safe sanitary treatment from a large animal vet. The animals have also been connected with individuals from around the world through social media and receive sponsorships. This network is what Garnsey hopes will enhance the farm with its next expansion. We keep plugging along, but we, we can't do it without the help of the donations that we get and uh, the generosity of the local people and people from a distance that may, um, and luckily, being in Clayton and in the North Country, this is one of those places that really, really takes care of its own. Almost in every case, within a very short period of time, there's a need for another rescue and you get another opportunity to change the stars of another animal. More information on how to support Garnsey's Feral Acres can be found on its social media and website. For ABC 50 Now, I'm Isabella Colello. <laughs> For more local news, go to informnny.com or download the ABC50 mobile app.